Hey you guys, I hope that you are well. Well, if you are new here, my name is Shannon and today I want to talk to you about something that is very important at this time. It is something that the Lord keeps reminding me about and showing me over and over again in some of the scriptures that I have been reading. How important it is to be where you are supposed to be and whether or not that means in the country, in the land that you're in, moving, whether or not that means job, whether or not that means ministry, whether or not that means church, whether or not that means the people. Are you where you're supposed to be with the people who are around you? You know, we probably have heard on more than one occasion, one of those stories on, you know, the news or Dateline or 2020 or whatever about this person who got caught up in some illegal activity because they were with the wrong people. And so, you know, being where God wants you to be in this season is not just imperative for our provision, for our protection, for our safety, but also for our future. You know, I know that when God called me to move a year ago across the land to a city that I have never been to before, did not have any family, no friends, no clients, no customers, did not know a soul, but at the word of the Lord, I moved. Why? Because I know wherever God tells me to go is the safest place for me to be, even though I don't understand it. And, you know, we see the same thing in the Bible with Noah. Noah was building this boat for rain that he didn't even know. He had no concept of what rain was. So Noah had no framework for why God was telling him to build this massive boat, but he did it anyway. And it wasn't until he closed the door and it became clear to Noah that God was going to wipe out the entire human and animal population. Every single living thing that was not in that boat was going to be wiped out. And so Noah was obedient at the word of the Lord. It took him an entire year to build the boat, not knowing what it was going to be used for but he obeyed God. Same thing with Abraham. Abraham, God told to transition from his family, move away, leave his family behind and move to another land. Didn't tell him why until he got to the land. And that's when God said that I am the Lord God, Abraham, who led you out of Ur of Babylon so that I could give you this land. God had something for him where he was going, but he didn't tell him until he got there. And so I implore you, be obedient to anything that the God that God is telling you now. If he is, you know, kind of prompting you to make a transition in any area of your life, I promise you it is for your good. And it's probably not just for your good, but for your safety, because only God knows what is in front of you. We think we might know part of the game. We think we might know part of the plan, but only God Almighty knows the end from the beginning. And so follow him for your provision, for your protection, for your safety, for your bounty, for your blessings. Follow him. And right now, I'm telling you, I know I've mentioned this on previous videos, but I just feel like for people who God has been talking to, if God has been talking to you and talking to you and talking to you about making a change, no matter how minor, no matter how big, put your feet and get them in order and start moving ahead with that plan of transition because he wants us in position. Listen, if Noah would not have built that boat, he would have been wiped out. But God wanted Noah to do it and Noah was the one to do it. Don't let God call you and you're not in position and you're wondering what happened and why he's not saving you when something catastrophic happens. You know, God is calling all of us to be in position with him and whether or not that is in, you know, like I said, some sort of physical location or otherwise be where he wants you to be. 
be where he wants you to be. And so I hope that you are blessed by watching this video. If you have been feeling like the Lord has been calling you to make some sort of change or transition in your life, you know what? Leave a comment below. I understand. I understand the pressure and I understand sometimes there's some fear, some intrepidation and some stress involved with it. But you know what? We're going to do what the Lord tells us to do. Please do me a big favor and like this video, share this video, leave a comment below. I would love to hear what any of you guys have to say and I will talk to you later. Bye.